So now that I have one of these flats finished, most of the time we put them together just end to end. But in the case where you're gonna put them in a corner, uh, it's nice to have some of these blocks that you glue this way so that when the wall connects, you can either screw the screws in through this or drill and you can use bolts and hardware. But it's just a lot stronger than using the plywood. Another thing that's really nice about this is if you're attaching like a TV uh, monitor or any kind of heavier wood, you can take plywood or these pieces of wood and, and, and glue them in place so that when you screw something heavy on the, on the front side, it will support it a lot better. So I'm gonna do that right now. Sometimes a router bit will makes kind of a gnarly edge, especially if you have an old one like mine, so you just come in with a sanding block. Another thing that I like to do to help for later on is on all my sharp corners, because we're going to be dragging this thing, setting it up a bunch of times, I don't like the wood kind of splintering up. So I go around and I just kind of lightly round over the edge just a little bit. I try to make sure all the staples are below the surface of the wood so I can go back and fill it later. I'm using a stage 3 Bondo to fill in all my holes and seams, and I'm mixing in a little less hardener so that I can work with it longer in the hot sun. I usually go over the staple holes twice and then give it a light sand, and now it's ready for paint. One of the things you may want to do after your wall panel or flat has been built is you may want to paint the back side. Unless you don't mind looking at bare wood, there are a few reasons why you would want to paint the back. One is if people are going to be seeing it or you just don't like the look of bare wood. Another reason might be is because you have a fire marshal coming in and you can't have any bare wood exposed. Um, one of the products that we like to use is FireTech. It's a fireproofing paint. Um, the one we got is black and we're just going to go ahead and paint the whole flat panels black on the back side. This is about three times as expensive as a regular gallon of regular latex paint. It also comes in a five gallon and um, it covers pretty good. It's a, it is a little bit thinner, like I said, than a regular latex paint. Um, you can also get an additive and add it to a regular paint. I've been able to stretch one gallon of this paint for about six sides of these four by 10 panels. So that's not too bad. When painting the backs of the walls, I use a brush to get in all the corners and then I roll the center areas. When I paint the faces of the walls, I use a stain blocking primer to go over any bare wood or bondoed areas. Now the walls are ready to finish.